Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That is, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, a so called black man. This is going to be a follow up from the video I did yesterday that remember to know the names to call on to this video being. Jesus will not save you nor help you. Let me say that one more time just in case you didn't catch it. This is a follow up to the video I did yesterday that remember to know the names to call on. And this video will be titled Jesus will not save you nor help you. Okay? And this is out of the, and this is out of the book of Ecclesiasticus. This is Ecclesiasticus 1, the prologue of the wisdom of Yahawashai, the son of Sarah. This is not the same Yahawashai, the only begotten son of the Most High. Whereas many and great things have been delivered unto us by the law and the prophets and by others that have followed their steps. For the which things Israel ought to be commended for learning and wisdom and whereof not only the readers must needs become skillful themselves, but also they that desire to learn be able to profit them which are without, both by speaking and writing. My grandfather, Shai, when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and other books of our fathers and had gotten therein good judgment, was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to those and are addicted to these things might profit much more and live in accordance to the law wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we labor to interpret. Now, this is the this is the important part right here. This is what we base our lesson off on today. This video, for the same things uttered in Hebrew, and translated into another tongue, have not the same force in them. Okay, let me read. Let me read that again because we need to harp on this. For the same things uttered in Hebrew, and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. That's very important. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. For in the eighth and thirteenth year coming into Egypt, when your Gades was king and count and continuing there some time, I found a book of no small learning. Therefore, I thought it most necessary for me to bestow some diligence and travail to interpret it, using great watchfulness and skill in that space to bring the book to an end and set it forth for them also, which in a strange country are willing to learn. And we know that strange country. Being prepared before and manners to live after the law all wisdom cometh from the Lord and is with him forever. Right. So today's video, which I uh which is titled, Jesus will not save you nor help you. Okay? And he won't. Because he doesn't he doesn't exist. He is something that was given to you. And I, I'm probably gonna do a video video on this if it be the Lord will he was something that was given to you to put you under a enchantment now the figure who they used to give to you and to prop up was a man by the name of Cesar Bourgeur so they gave you an image to put with they they gave you an image to go along with the indoctrination that they was giving to giving you which is christianity 
All right. So Jesus will not save you nor help you. So let's go to a let's go to a couple of scriptures and let's uh take it from there. All right, this is uh this is the book Jeremiah chapter 10 and we're going to go down to verse 24 and it reads, "O Yahweh, correct me, but with judgment, not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name." For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. And we're going to see how they did that. But now is the time to get the complete understanding behind the name and the meaning of Jesus. And know that it was a, it was a ploy to get you to forget everything that we were taught and that we were you know once had as a as a ruling nation as a nation of uh kings and priests but through our disobedience the most high allowed these people to come and take away our our heritage and replace it with something else and this something else part of this something else was giving us this religion uh, named, uh, named Christianity and the face behind Christianity was this person that they drawn up and, and, and put out for the public to consume and they gave his name Jesus and it was very you know deceiving how they did it because they used the Bible to push the agenda You know, because like I read you in Sirach, uh or Ecclesiasticus one, you have to do your you have to do your due diligence and go and look up these words and see the meaning behind them. Because the thing other in Hebrew don't, don't have the same uh, don't mean the same thing in other languages. Jesus is a transliteration of. Yahweh Okay But in that transliteration They bought and, and, and took on a whole new meaning So they took what was supposed to be meant You know as the closest thing That they could uh, Use to the word Yahweh shot and the, and the English uh, You know vocabulary with the letters that he was using which is a transliteration the closest thing and then they took it and, and, and put on a whole new meaning all together in itself now this Jesus you don't have to you don't have to try to keep the commandments you saved by grace you could go to church on Sunday you can eat uh shrimp crabs and lobster you can have your you can have your share of pork you know there's no repercussion for whatever actions you do because you save under grace a man can lie with a man like he a man can lie with a man like he lied with a woman this is all under Jesus right here you see A woman can wear which pertaineth to a man. This is all under Jesus. Your preachers and your pastors aren't going to tell you this. If it be the good Lord willing, I'll do a video on that. They're not going to tell you this. Some may, but they're not going to give you the whole truth behind it. They're not going to tell you to repent and tell you the name. Are they going to say the name doesn't matter? Or what he looked like doesn't matter. Well, that's that's contrary to, to what the words say, man. It does matter. You know. But that's why you got to be careful to not rely on the philosophy and the deceit of man. Tells you that in uh, Colossians two. 
let's get that and let's come back to this uh, verse right here. Colossians 2 and 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of man and the rudiments of the world and not after the Hamashiach, Yahweh shot. And that's what Christianity does, man. They spoil you. They make you go bad. They tell you you can do this. You can do that. They don't tell you to repent. They don't they don't give you the, the true names. Because they get their philosophy. They get their teachings. From what? A bad tree. And it tells you in uh tells you in uh Luke. I believe it's the sixth chapter in uh what? Let me see. Forty three. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit. So Christianity can't bring uh forth uh any kind of good uh good fruit. And it says neither let a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Yeah, Christianity is a corrupt tree. It can't bring forth good fruit, man. So that's why you got to be careful. You know, and now is the time to soak up this information, man. Get this truth, this knowledge while you can. You got to know this. This is this is what's going this is what's going to deliver you. All right? Not calling on Jesus. He's not going to deliver you. He's not going to save you and he's not going to help you. He doesn't exist. You're going to be like Pharaoh when the Most High killed off all the firstborn and he praying to a, a statue trying to bring back his son, man. That's how you're going to look praying to, to, to sweet old Jesus in that, in that time, in that day of that, that great day of tribulation, man. You're going to look like Pharaoh praying to that statue with no life that ain't got... It's a statue made of hands trying to bring back his uh, his firstborn. So now is the time to get this fruit when it's available. Soak up this knowledge. So let's go back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10 and verse 24. O Yahweh, correct me, but with judgment. Not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not. And the Most High looks at two-thirds of our people as heathen. So they're going to get the fury poured out upon them. Because they have an opportunity right now to repent and to get to know the names. All right? So it ain't going to be no feeling bad for them, man. This is their time. What they do with it, <coughs> excuse me. What they do with it, that's up to them, man. But everybody gonna have a everybody gonna have a chance to receive this truth. So it says, pour out their pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, because they refuse to know him. And upon the families that call not on thy name. So these are these other nations that's calling on these other Christ-like figures. Whether it be Buddha, whether it be Egypt, whether it be, I mean, you name it. What are the other type of religions that's out there with these Christ-like figures? And it goes on to read, for they have eaten up Jacob, right? Because Israel has bought, has bought into it and devoured him and consumed him. And have made his habitation desolate. Let's go see how they did that. Alright. This is Jeremiah. Staying in the same book. Just over a few uh, verses. A few, uh, few chapters. We're going to go down to Jeremiah 17. We're going to start at verse 5. And it reads. Thus saith Yahweh. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And make a flesh his arm. And whose heart departed from Yahweh. You hear that? 
Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And that's who you trusted in when you call on Jesus. You trusted in man. Because man came up with that image and, and gave it to you. And put it behind the Bible and tried to sell it to you as a religion. And now you got your pastors and your preachers that's pushing this and pushing this and pushing this and been pushing it. And going to continue to push it up until the day and when he come in and, and set the judgment. Because you got a choice right now to repent and to come back from this and to come back from those teachings and come into the true knowledge. So it says, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from Yahweh. For he shall be like the heath and the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabit it. And this is how we and this is how we inhabited this 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 heath in the desert. And in this uh uh, parched land This is how our, our, our habitation was made desolate Because we put our trust in man We trusted in sweet old good Jesus I'm going to call on him He blessed me He gave me $100,000 I got a big check today Thank you Jesus this is, our, this, is, this is our mindset for the longest man Coming up in this captivity See the so called White man or the Caucasian he did a number on us and he was allowed to do that number on us because we turned from our only and true power Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh shot so he was able to do this don't get it twisted he didn't do this on his own he was allowed to do this so it says thus said Yahweh cursed be the man that trusted in man and make a flesh his arm and whose heart departed from Yahweh for he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabit it. Check this out. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh and whose hope Yahweh is. And you got to know his name. That's going to differentiate between knowing and believing on just God and knowing and believing on Yahweh, the one and only true power. All right? And his son, Yahweh shot. Knowing the difference between Jesus and Yahweh shot. Verse 8. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Remember that? St. Luke 6, 43. For, for a good tree nor of not corrupt fruit, neither a corrupt tree nor of good fruit. Nine. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So yeah, just because you say you know the names and you're going to call on Yahweh shot, and you're going to call on Yahweh, and you're going to call, let me say it, rephrase that, you're going to call on Yahweh through, through the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh shot, and you think you're going to be delivered and saved? That ain't how it works. You have had to put in work and to show your, you know, to show yourself uh, worthy to be approved. Because just by, just because you know the names don't mean that that's, go, that's, that's what's going to deliver you. Because it's telling you right here, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you can still be calling on the names and still be in that, that Gentile mindset, that Jesus mindset. Still going to church, still celebrating these holidays, these birthdays, still eating pork, still eating shrimp, crab, and lobsters. All these abominable things, still sleeping with men. Men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women, still wearing clothes that don't pertain to your sex, still doing all these unrighteous things, okay? And still believing that it's you that's having the ability to deliver yourself 
And it tells you all your righteous works is as a filthy rag, man. You got to have faith that Yahweh is going to be the one that's going to deliver you. You can't do nothing. You can prop yourself up to believe, oh, if we were all self-sufficient, self -sufficient, we could get ourselves up out of this, this hell hole we in. That ain't how it work, man. It ain't gonna be what it ain't gonna be but one person that's gonna redeem us, man. So you could try all your your uh analysis or whatever you think it's gonna do. I get a million dollars, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be set. That ain't that ain't gonna save you, man. That ain't gonna deliver you and that ain't gonna help you. So let's read. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So yeah, you know the name. Now you know the names to call on, but do you really know the names is the question. Because if you just know the names just to think that you're going to call on those names, those names, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and you're going to be delivered, but you ain't had no proof that you know the names, and you still have that Jesus mindset, you, could, you, you just as good as gone, man. If, if the Lord, if Yahweh wants you to. All right. So let's read that again and let's go into the, the verse that's coming in. Verse 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Here you go. This is who can know it. I, Yahweh, search, search the heart and not the heart like as in a good feeling, like I feel good about myself. No, the heart as in the mind. He searches your mind. He knows your thoughts. Okay, so maybe I should have clarified that up in verse 9 when it says the heart is de deceitful. The heart is the mind. It's deceitful above all things. And it's de and it, and, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So the only person who can know your mind is Yahweh. Because he, he, he's the one who made you. He created you through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot, man. So verse 10, I, Yahweh, search, search the heart. I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Okay? So that's how he gonna know when you call on the names and that day, whether you actually know the names or you just claiming that you know the names because you, you heard it on a video or you heard it from you know a servant on the street preaching the name. That's how he gonna know in that day when you call on it, when you call on Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, that's how he gonna know it. Because he searched the heart. He trieth the reins. And give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doings. Okay. So this video was a follow up to the video from yesterday. That remember to know the name to call on. So. It's a. You know package. Yeah you got to know the names to call on. But you have had to have the fruit and do the works. Or you might as well just be calling on sweet Jesus, man. <laughs> you know? So you know the names, but you still living in that, that Christian mindset, that Jesus mindset. That ain't going to do it. So let's go ahead and close out and let's take it from there. This is 1 Peter 5, and uh, we're going to go down to verse 8, and it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, that's someone who deceives you, and a nation behind that deceiving, bought in Christianity, and pretty much did a work on all the tribes, man. <laughs> As a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And like I told you, he looking to devour anybody he can up until the last second. That's that's just how he rolled, man. He's a, he, he's man. Yo, you gotta stay in this truth, this knowledge. You got to be able to endure it to the end, man. That's the only way you're going to be saved. Jesus, Christianity, 
that's not going to deliver you. That's not going to save you. Let them tell it you already saved. <laughs> you haven't even seen what's to come, man. We need, we need help from on high. We got to have help. We got to have help that's coming to crack open those 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 clouds, man. Coming on coming on those chariots. This is this is this is a spiritual this is a spiritual battle, man. Right now, this is a spiritual battle. We tearing down these strongholds brought on by by this by this ruined lion, this 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 this, this Christianity, this Jesus. Cause this is gonna take this 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 line is gonna take out a lot of people in that day, man. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. He gonna have his cubs with him, you know those other religions, Buddha and all the other stuff. But this royal line right here, man, he done got a lot of he done got a lot of Israelites. A lot of them ain't gonna be able to wake up in time, man. It gonna be an easy picking. He ain't even gotta chase none of them down. He ain't even gotta run, walk. He just go. They might even just walk right into. He gonna be, he gonna be like, damn. Cause you know you see some clips of a lion where he done caught a, a little baby uh, wildebeest or something like that, and he ain't even have to do it. He just walked up on it, laying down in the grass or something like that. That's gonna be a lot. Of, that's gonna be a lot of two thirds, man. They gonna come down willingly. Offering up that 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 right hand, that forehead, getting that help from Egypt. We already showed you in Exodus 11 chapter what happened to the firstborn of Egypt and the Pharaoh. So now is the time to be circumspect, man, and get it in while you can, man. Get this buffet. You know, get this knowledge. Taste this meat. Measure it with the scriptures. You know, know what you can and you can't eat. What's abominable? This is that time, man. This is going. This is going to prove whether or not you know the name. Not just remember to call on it, but that this is gonna show your works right here. You know, you rehearsing it to the best of your ability, given the information that was given to you. Yahweh, he the one that tried your heart, he know the reins, man. So when you call on him through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot, your prayer gonna get lifted up. It's gonna get there. He's gonna come through. You're going to need it all. You're going to need all the help, man. You're going to need that hedge. You're going to need that mountain. You're going to need to keep from letting the, the rod of the wicked touch you, man. You slip up and get out of get out, get out of that hedge and you do something, commit some iniquity. Okay, you fair game now, man. Yahweh would know your heart. He know your mind. He tried to reign, so he already know what's good. He know what's going on. He want to see what are you going to do. Given this information, how are you going to respond to it? Are you going to brush it off? Go back into your Jesus mindset? And then when things get out of control, because now you heard the name of Yahweh, Wah, and, or, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, his only in the name of his only begotten son, now that you heard that name, you think you're going to be delivered and saved just because you could call on that name? But having done any work and don't have any, you know, good fruits. No, that ain't how it's going to work. You might as well just stay in that Christian mindset, calling on Jesus. Thinking that you can get a hundred thousand or a million dollars and you'll be set to go, man. You got, you got a rude awakening coming for you, man. So you better get this information. You better be sober, be vigilant, do it, look into it diligently, make that decision, and live with it. Ride it on out to the end, man. If if it be the Lord's will, because you can't do anything on your own. Let's get that straight. None of this is you doing it by yourself. You got to have faith in your Howashah. 
Stay in this truth. Pray. Repent. Know what you were doing to displease the, the, the most high and don't do it again. Try to do it, try to live it to the best of your ability, man. All right. So uh just wanted to bring that out and let you know that Jesus will not save you nor help you or deliver you. So with that being said, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom.